One of the things that I realized very early on is that there is no dearth of information or resources in Cambridge. In fact, it's quite overwhelming and the opposite. You have a lot of information and very less time to process it and present it in your work. So one of the things I used to do was to keep my reading list short, but I would be very thorough with what I have read. So I would read a few texts, but I would be quite sure what was said in those texts. And I would use those authors to argue my viewpoint, which worked quite well for me because uh, all that they ask in evaluation is for you to be very clear about your sources and your arguments. I always use the advantage of being able to read in Russian and I try to find sources from, well, Russian online libraries and the books I used to uh, employ for my studies back during my undergraduate time. So basically I'm trying to use a wide range of sources to be as objective as possible and to write, well, good papers. <laughs> when I came in, I knew that I had to read a lot and it took me some time to figure out that it's impossible to read everything. And so I have to sort of select what is it that I want to read. I think I was mostly using Google Scholar to find online articles and papers, but I discovered it's quite useful too. And I think the reading lists you get and what your kind of director of study or your supervisor recommends to you is very useful as well. So I just, I'd say it's a mix of things. So you can use very different libraries. You can use advice from people in your faculty, maybe from your course mates as well and then just find things online. If you have any issues, you can always refer to a librarian, either in the faculty or in the UL, and they're always very helpful, which is good. Another thing I feel that a lot of people sort of miss when it comes to reading is reading. When you're reading, let's say, an article or a book, there are so many suggestions in the book and article itself that this and this author talked about this thing, and so you can read up on that, but people tend to like overlook it. and. In terms of doing extended in-depth reading in my subject, that has helped me out really well. Like going through the reference list and trying to figure out what has this author said and like learning a little bit more about what that author has written in his own.